custom iPhone XS, yes or no? <laughs> Hello guys, my... Hello guys, my name is Doke and today, today I'm, I'm not gonna paint graffiti. Don't go, please, stay, stay here, please. Thanks for staying. I want to continue in the soft learning process. It's a learning process. I will challenge myself today. Again, let's do it. Come on, booty. Dole. Dole. Good boy. Oh no, 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 no. In this video I wanted to go to a place that was super important for me because I started my graffiti career over there. There was my second piece ever still alive. Right now. These rocks. Somewhere in those rocks over there is my painting spot. Fortunately, I got the plan B. Beware when you walk on rails. It might be not the best idea. Yes, you're right. The thing that you see are skins of dead animals. I know it because we have been here before in my Urbex series, but it still looks in the combination with the toys on the ground. Sorry if that beginning was too cringy for you.
but I have to say that I can't even imagine a better place for painting an evil character like Venom than this place. With all these dead animals, books like Basics of Animal Industry, it really feels like an evil place. My graffiti friend Smoke was also doing a Venom character. We decided to have a little Venom battle, so definitely check his video, it's gonna be in the description below. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready for an epic Venom graffiti? Guys, if you like it, Little Tamba would be awesome. I tried to use the knowledge from the Predator, the previous character. If you want to see that video, click over here. And I have to say that I like the Venom much more and I'm really looking forward to the movie. I'm also quite proud that I didn't copy somebody's picture. This is my sketch inspired by pictures of Venom. Guys, this. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 